Bora Djordjevic, who is also known as Bora Chorba and a Serbian rock musician and songwriter. He was born on the 1st of November 1952 in Čačak. He graduated the 5th gymnasium in Belgrade and got into law school, but after two years, he realized that law isn't for him. He tried to get into drama school, but unfortunately, he wasn't accepted. Uh, he was in uh, groups Sunsokret and Ranimras before he created the group uh, Riblia Chorba in 1978, where he was the lead vocal, vocalist. His most famous songs are Riblia Chorba i Lutka sa naslone strane, Dva dinara druže, Kad sam bio mlad, uh, Kako je lepo biti glup, and Amsterdam. Their first album, Os Minerni Slum, was released on the 4th of November uh, 1986, and it wasn't liked by many people. On the radio stations, it was forbidden to play from two to eight songs. Vladislav Petković Dis was a Serbian Impressionist poet. He was born on the 10th of March 1880 in Zablaće Čačak. He graduated from gymnasium in Čačak and Teachers College in 1902. Some of his most famous poets are She May Be Sleeping and Monument. During the outbreak of the First Balkan War, he was conscripted by the military as a journalist. His nickname, Dis, was derived from the three letters in the middle of his name, Vladislav. His poetry was not well received at the beginning, but his poets survived the critics. Radomir Mihailovic, more known as Tocak, was born on 13th June 1915 in Čačak. He is one of the most influential Yugoslavian and Serbian guitarists of all time. He started playing guitar from the age of nine. He played in multiply bands during his youth in Čačak. One of them is Boys from Morava. He is one of the co-founders of the band Smak. Smak was one of the best rock groups that he played in Yugoslavia during that time. Nowadays, he lives in Belgrade and has his own school of guitar lessons. Uh, one interesting place uh, would be Žele because of its connection with both basketball and folklore. Near the city center, there are basketball courts of Žele and the premises of the folklore culture art society. Our town is known as the uh, city of basketball, which can confirm many famous basketball players who started their career right there. For example, there is Aleksa Abramović, Marko Marinović Malena, Žetko Bradović and Rajan Kićanović. Not only did he play for Železničar in his early age, uh, Dragan contributed to revival of the club uh, through its financial and popularistic uh, image, and there's a basketball court uh, which bears his name ever since. By this gesture, he improved the conditions for training and motivated a lot of young people to start playing this sport. On the other hand, folklore of Žele is active since 1934. Many generations of players have changed in that period of time. A lot of opportunities to see different parts of the world, meet new people, nations and culture. Exchanging experience with older and younger co-players is something priceless and one of the main things that makes folklore as beautiful as it is. The folklore of Žele took part in many events worldwide and had a chance to show off their talent. This is really important place for the people of Čačak because they have been gathering there for many years.